Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the game between Gujarat Titans and Kolkata Knight Riders. Important game for both the sides and this one will be played at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. Keep in mind that this ground was also the same ground where the first game was played and that was an easy chase that we saw in that specific occasion. Now based on that, let's try to understand what we think can happen in this game. So as far as the ground dimensions are concerned, 57 and 56 meters on either side, 75 and 72 meters on the other side. Square is also decently long at 69, 67 meters. And we saw Rashid Khan really dominate in that first game. And keep in mind against KKR, Rashid Khan has very positive numbers. So that will be a positive aspect for you to keep in mind as far as Rashid is concerned. And the pitch was decently good for batting. We did see that most of his wickets came in the middle overs where he managed to break through after a good start. And we can expect something similar as far as Kolkata is also concerned because that's the nature of their batting. And based on the same, let's try to make our base team for this one. So over to the base team for this game and we'll start off straight with the keeping section where I've picked Gurbaz, Ridhiman Sa, XKKR. Now keep in mind Gurbaz will come in handy against this bowling lineup because when you see this Gujarat bowling lineup and yes one more thing to keep in mind is Gurbaz was playing for GT last year did not get any opportunity because Wade came in. So yes just a side note but Against this Gujarat bowling lineup, he can be effective because he we know that he's a pace hitter. So it will be interesting to see how he approaches that part of it because we know that he'll try to play shot after shot. But yet, apart from him, most of the other Kolkata batters will also have this set of problems against pace. And with Gurbaz also, we know while he has positive intent against pace, there's a good chance that he can splice his wicket away. So let's start in this game. I think the bowling and all-rounder sections will be more important. So we'll start off straight with the all-rounders where Sunil Narayan and Andre Russell will slot in. Sunil Narayan, you might think have uh, against Miller and Rana and all would have a good, uh, not Rana, Miller and uh, the left-handers in the Gujarat side, Sai Sudarshan might have a good day out, but against Miller, his matchup numbers are very poor. Miller has a strike rate over 150 against him, so that will be a battle to watch out for. But yet, based on his form, Narayan cannot be dropped. The other two all-rounders will be Hardik Pandya from uh, this section. And uh, th again, the reason for picking Hardik will, in, as captaincy and vice captaincy, prime candidate will be because of the fact that he'll give you value with the ball and with the bat. So I think he'll be a prime captaincy candidate. In the bowling section, Shardul Thakur was my first pick even before, but obviously even more now because he's giving you value with the bat as well. Rashid Khan, who will have a good shot here because we know that his numbers against KKR are very positive, good matchup numbers. Mohammad Shami, Alzari Joseph, and Joshua Little. So I'm going to go with all the Gujarat bowlers because I think their bowling lineup can overpower this KKR batting lineup. Obviously, you have some good options from KKR to try, but you have Gil up top here. And we know that Gil is someone who will take his time and can neutralize all of that bowling once and for all so for now i'm not picking any of those guys and my last pick from this section i'm slightly confused on who to go with between david miller and a kkr batter but for now i'm picking david miller because of the fact that he has good numbers good form and there's no reason really for you to drop drop him while this kolkata bowling does have their set of problems against this bowling lineup that is the Gujarat bowling lineup. So I think that I'm going to opt for Gujarat all out and in the keeping section, Gurbaz, like I mentioned. Captaincy and vice captaincy, these are the two safe choices to opt for. And I've tried to go with the all round value type of players from Kolkata because we know that many of their one dimensional players can give you an all or nothing sort of day. Gurbaz will be with keeping and with, with the bat. Russell can bowl, not sure for now whether he's going to be used or not. Sunil Narayan has been bowling, so yes, I'm, I'm, I think that that will be a positive choice to make. Shardul Thakur also with bat and with ball. You can leave out one of Alzari or Little and take the extra KKR batting option, but I'm not too inclined to do that for now because all of their batting options are such that on their day they can give you very good returns, but on other days they might give you nothing at all. Ensure you smash the like button and now let's look at the exchange 22 picks for this game. 
What are the exchange 22 picks for this game? And we'll start with the GT side of things where I think things are positive. Joshua Little, Alzari, Joseph at 30 and 33 are very good buy candidates. Apart from that, you have Shami who you can try at 32 based on how the track is. Shami does not bowl as much at, at the death. So generally, he just bowls one over there. So if you feel like there'll be not much value at the uh, start for him with no movement then you can leave him out otherwise you can buy him too David Miller 30 if he bats first is a very good choice as far as the Kolkata side of things is concerned Andre Russell is not bowling yet form with the bat is not shown yet but if there's any news at the toss that he'll bowl then at 40 he becomes a good choice Sunil Narayan if batting first and bowling second at 36 is a decent choice Shardul Thakur similar sort of scenario and no other picks from here for now unless it's a really slow track then you can try Varun but I don't think that's going to happen and now let's look at the radio picks and offers for this game over to the radio side of things for Gujarat versus Kolkata so let's see what are the chances that we have and what we can take here so 5200 teams joined till now and prizes to be won right up till the 18,000 ranks so good opportunity for you to rake in some guaranteed rewards and I'm surely going to do the same I have Andre Russell to pick from here I think I also have Lockie Ferguson we're not sure if he'll play or not but if he does he's a good choice Sunil Narayan and Rashid Khan all the three prime candidates I've currently picked and Rashid Khan as captain based on his positive matchups so there are guaranteed rewards here don't miss out 1600 sign up bonus from the link in the description and another cool thing to reveal to you so yes the cool thing to reveal here is a hundred percent cashback on first purchase offer as few of you missed out has been extended for a limited time even i'm not sure what that time will be but it has been extended for now and what do you have to do here so you simply need to buy this pack this pack currently shows up as nine when you click on the buy now button it will show up as four and a half as the other four and a half will get cut from the bonus from the link in the description and this four and a half that you pay will also come back to your radio wallet as soon as you pay within 72 hours this money will come back to your wallet and then you can use that to buy more packs or buy more picks so effectively that makes your first game free because this money reaches back to your wallet and plus keep in mind you have the guaranteed rewards because the leagues have not filled up so don't miss out on this opportunity and yes we'll also have the golden question for today so many 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 all-rounders and bowlers to consider so the golden question for today how many runs do you think Andre Russell will score in this game ensure that you comment and let me know how many other runs you think that he will score in this one according to me i think i'm hoping that there will be a good knock tomorrow so maybe 30 to 35 odd runs is something that i am expecting from andre russell tomorrow so you two let me know in the comments what your predictions are and yes there are a lot of gl picks for you to make from the kkr batting section so all the good luck to you for that have a great game and see you all very soon for the next one